So you want to get the best quality possible for your Twitch stream. Well, I'm not an asshole, so I'm not going to waste your time. So this is what you're going to do. In your OBS settings, click on stream and check the box that says ignore streaming service setting recommendations. If you do this, you will be able to set your bitrate all the way up to 8,000 kilobits per second, which is Twitch's maximum bitrate. I know you've probably heard that it's 6,000, but I can tell you, you can go all the way up to about 8,000 and be just fine. And no, this is not just a partner thing. Affiliates and even non-affiliates, everybody can stream at at this bitrate. That's that's really the conclusion of this video. So if that's all you came here for, then you can just stop watching now. I mean, I'm serious. You, the X button's up. Oh, you still wanna watch? Okay, well, I got, I got some other stuff to say. For the rest of this video, I wanted to answer one question, and that is, what is the highest bitrate that you can use to stream on Twitch? Because everybody knows more bitrate equals more quality. I think that's pretty obvious. But how high can you go? Can you just stream at some ridiculously high bitrate? Does Twitch even allow it? Do they ban you? Like what actually happens? That's what I set out to figure out. So I ran a few experiments using science. I tried streaming at multiple different bitrates across multiple different accounts just to see what would happen because the answer is not quite as straightforward as it might seem. This video is sponsored by Elgato and their Wave 1 microphone. This is Elgato's most affordable USB condenser microphone. But unlike other USB microphones, the Wave 1 integrates with Elgato's Wavelink app, which allows you to mix your game audio, your sound effects, music, all the audio that you need to run your stream. And Wavelink is just awesome, but what's really cool is you can set up two independent mixes so you can listen to a different mix in your headphones compared to what your viewers hear. It also has a clip guard setting, which ensures that your mic never distorts, no matter how loud you scream. That's right, your stream doesn't have to sound like a McDonald's drive-through. If you'd like to buy a Wave 1, affiliate links will be linked down below. So, we gotta lay some groundwork because we can't run any experiments without knowing a few basic terms. First of all, what is bitrate? So bitrate is the amount of data that you're sending to Twitch. So that's the number that you put in this box when you're entering in your settings for OBS. Obviously, the bigger that number is, the higher quality that you can expect. Uh, you're a smart cookie, you already knew that. Now obviously, there's a lot that goes into determining quality for a Twitch stream. It's not just bitrate, there's also resolution, frame rate, encoders, uh, all that stuff. We're not interested in that, we're only interested in bitrate. There's a catch though. Twitch recommends a maximum bitrate of 6,000 kilobits per second. In fact, by default in OBS, if you were to set your bitrate to some ridiculous bitrate like 20,000, it actually just ignores that and sets it to 6,000. However, if you check that ignore streaming service setting recommendation at the start of the video, this turns off that cap and you can stream at whatever bitrate that you want. Now, that doesn't mean that Twitch is gonna accept that amount, it just allows OBS to send that much data to Twitch. Speaking of which, what actually happens on Twitch's end when they receive your stream? So a lot of the times when you're a viewer, you wanna lower the resolution of the stream because maybe your internet's not fast enough to be able to watch the stream at its full resolution. So you click in this button to adjust the quality of the stream. And there's two different types of quality. The first is source quality. This is the exact stream that the streamer is sending to Twitch. Twitch doesn't touch this at all. So if you wanna watch a stream in the highest quality, you always want to watch in source quality. All of the other options are transcoded qualities. So when you send your stream over to Twitch, Twitch has to transcode them into these lower resolutions. This is really great for all your viewers that have slower connections, AKA they live in Australia. Only one for mine. The thing is, transcoding is really expensive. This is why a lot of streams that you watch might not have these lower resolution options. That's because Twitch only guarantees transcoding to partnered streamers and everybody else just gets it when it's available. Not gonna talk too much more about transcoding and then you guys get the point. If you wanna learn more about how the transcoding system works, I talk a little bit more about it in the video up here. 
This one time I ordered dipping sauce in McDonald's and they gave me two packets instead of one. So now that you're an expert on bitrate and transcoding, I wanna circle back to that checkbox that we turned on earlier. If Twitch says that the maximum bitrate that they support is 6,000 kilobits per second, then what exactly happens if you try to stream above that? So here's the thing, I read a lot of Reddit, I'm inside of the OBS Discord, and a lot of people that are much smarter than me tell me that the actual limit is about 8,000 kilobits per second. And so for my streams, I set my bitrate to 8,000 kilobits per second. All of my viewers are able to watch my stream just fine and they have full access to Twitch's full range of resolution, so source quality, 1080p 60, as well as all of the lower transcoded resolutions. And yes, I did verify that my viewers are getting the full 8,000 kilobits per second and you can even check this for yourself if you go into the advanced stats in the Twitch player, it shows you the bitrate of the stream that you're watching. So 8,000 is just fine. Next, I wanted to see what would happen if I increased it to 9,000 kilobits per second. So I set my bitrate to 9,000, I started out my stream, then I went to my Twitch stream and everything looked pretty normal. Everything seemed stable, my viewers are able to see my stream just fine, but if you look into the quality options, you'll see that there's no source quality. Source quality is just completely gone. In fact, the highest quality available is only 720p60 at 3000 kilobits per second. Remember, I'm streaming at 1080p60, 9000 kilobits per second, and my viewers can only see a 720p60, 3000 kilobits per second stream. So even though my viewers can see my stream, what's the point of streaming at this super high quality bitrate if the source quality isn't even available to my viewers. And by the way, I tested this repeatedly. I would set it back to 8,000, restart my stream, and then the source quality would come back, and then I set it back to 9,000 again, restart my stream, and then source quality is gone again. So the first conclusion that I wanna draw is that you should never set your bit rate above 8,000 kilobits per second, because if you do that, your viewers will lose access to that source quality option. Seriously, what am I gonna do with this extra packet of dipping sauce? For the next test, I decided, okay, so we know that the limit is 8,000 kilobits per second, but let's, let's try to cheese it. So we'll start the stream at a safe bit rate of 8,000 kilobits per second, and then once we have verified that our viewers are able to watch the stream at all the different qualities, including source quality, We'll just pump the bitrate up midstream. That's right, you can actually change your bitrate midstream. And so what I did was in the middle of my stream, I increased the bitrate to 10,000 kilobits per second. And then I refreshed my stream. Everything looked normal. My viewers have full access to source quality and transcoded resolutions. I refreshed it 10 minutes later, still normal. And at this point, I was feeling pretty good about myself. I thought I discovered a new way to like cheat the system, but eventually I refreshed my stream and then source quality was gone. Twitch had stripped source quality away from my stream mid stream. And so every new viewer that came into my stream, all they could see was that 720p 60, 3000 kilobits per second stream. They couldn't see source quality at all. And to top that off, I lowered my bit rate to a safe level and still 720p60 was my only option. In fact, the only way to get source quality back was to stop my stream and restart it again. And I wasn't gonna do that. So that, that was an interesting discovery. So what about non-partnered streamers? Because some of you may be thinking that this higher 8,000 kilobits per second limit only applies to partnered streamers. And that's not true. I once had 40 chicken nuggets in one sitting. So to prove it, I logged into a separate Twitch account that I never streamed to, has less than 20 followers, isn't even an affiliate, and I set my bit rate to 8,000 kilobits per second and started streaming and no source quality. Okay, those were not the results I was expecting. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it doesn't apply to non-partners. So, just to make sure, I lowered the bitrate slightly to 7,800 kilobits per second, and I restarted my stream. And sure enough, source quality came back. And by the way, I got this result consistently. I set it to 8,000 kilobits per second, no source quality. Set it back down to 7,800, source quality came back. 
So the only conclusion that I can draw is that once you're streaming at Twitch's absolute maximum limit, it can be a little bit finicky. So what I would recommend is that try 8,000 kilobits per second, see if that works. If it doesn't work for you and you don't have that source quality, set it back down to 7750 and see if that works. I've asked a lot of people to try this out and I've seen a lot of good success out of it. So it should work. The point is, even if you're not a partnered streamer, you still have access to this higher bit rate limit. You just need to turn on that checkbox again at the start of the video. Now, keep in mind, what we're talking about is getting absolute maximum quality for your Twitch stream. I'm not saying this is a good idea. I'm just showing you guys how you can get the best quality possible. But you need to understand if you're not a partnered streamer and you're trying to stream at these super high bit rates, your viewers may not have transcoding. And so the only option available to them will be this super high bitrate stream, which their internet may not be fast enough to handle. So while you could have a really high quality stream, it could come at the expense of some viewership. And just for those of you that are curious, if you're a non-partner and you stream above 8,000 kilobits per second, yes, it is possible for Twitch to take away both your source quality and your transcoded qualities, which means your viewers literally cannot watch your stream. I'm talking about like, they'll just see a black error message. I've seen that before. Okay, so the last thing I was curious about was what gets saved to your VODs? Because when you're done streaming, Twitch saves your past broadcast as a VOD, and I wanted to see what quality actually gets saved to your VODs. Don't even get me started on french fries. That's my favorite. It turns out, Twitch actually saves source quality to your VODs no matter what. And I tried this. I tried streaming at 20,000 kilobits per second, which obviously Twitch took away source quality from me. But when I went back to my VODs, it actually saved the full quality there, which I think was pretty cool. Check it out here. <laughs> the VOD keeps the 20,000. How cool is that? Even though you guys couldn't watch the stream when it was live at this quality. If you go back in the VOD, it's still there. It does beg the question though, why doesn't Twitch just deliver this source quality to your viewers all the time? My guess is it has something to do with ensuring that the viewing experience is as smooth as possible. This is why services like YouTube actually don't deliver source quality at all. YouTube only delivers transcoded quality to its viewers and that's done entirely intentionally so that the video loads up quickly and the viewing experience is really smooth and really fluid. Anyway, that was a long ass video that literally nobody asked me to make, but let me know in the comments down below if the 8,000 kilobits per second trick worked for your stream. If you guys want to talk more about streaming, maybe share some OBS tips or talk about dipping sauces, join the Discord, link in the description box down below. I also stream on Twitch three nights a week where we do crazy tests like this. So I'll we'll see you guys in Twitch until next week or the week after or whenever. I'll see you guys then.